video for uh, behind the wheel uh, well I'm gonna show you uh, so now of course today uh, I was watching a, a video of uh, walking the wild science video with um, Stephen Cheatley who's uh, showing us this new this particular round crazy roundabouts at Swindon known as the magic roundabouts you know I always thought Lee was the other one with the magic roundabouts anyway let's get going Scooter things up the top. Yeah, a little bit. Well, that guy's got some build sense. We'll go this way because uh, it'll be easier. And uh, well, there's a lot of parked cars the other way, and it makes it very difficult to get around. Anyway, I just want to show you this uh, junction that um, which has been uh, <laughs> quite con which has been a bit of a controversy type of junction in Inley. But uh, I'll tell you about it, shall I? Because when the bypass was first opened in 1985, it was like a crossroads, wasn't it? A uh, junction that was uh, that uh, the Alloy Way, which crossed the junction between uh, Twist Lane and Furs Lane. And uh, you know, a lot of people have said that you know they should have had a flyover with this. I agree, they should have. They should have had a flyover, at least. I mean. I mean, they managed it uh, with the Yeadon Way in Blackpool. You know, I mean, that bypass literally goes all over the roads in Blackpool, around the res over the residential areas. So, I mean, why couldn't they've done that here? You know, I mean, it's just uh, crazy. They just knocked down the bridge and carried the railway over. But well, the bridge was strong enough to support trains, I'm sure they could have found a way to strengthen it and do that and have a slip road. You know. But you know, that's how it that's the way it is. You know. You know, we've got some speedy gumzales right up behind us who can see us pulling out. Sorry, but you should slow down. Uh, but it's alright he's going into the shop. Uh, you know some people just love speed up behind the reason why I do come this way is because, you know, that uh, street there, which is uh, Esketh Middle Lane, there's a lot of parked cars on either side and can be quite difficult when you're coming up, coming up through that way, because of uh, parked cars on either side, but although today it's not too problem, but in the morning it can be. Uh, I do come that way because half the time, early mornings, when I'm going to work, this road is chock a block and there's a massive queue. Yeah, uh, the other entrance where I came from, outside of the Lulton Social Club, very busy. Anyway, back at, uh, back to the subject of uh, the uh, junction at Lee, at the Lee Way bypass. That's at the Lee, uh, the other Lee Way was. Uh, uh, it was completed in 1985 and it opened. When did it open? No, I think, it, I believe it opened in the autumn of that year. I believe, I know it uh, started work on it, but run about late 1984, then, uh, then it completed by uh, late 1985. I always remember the uh, mechanical diggers there and the chubby trucks building that. Anyway, it's like, some, it's like somebody lost their jacket, then.
bit unusual for me to do a Friday night, but uh, just do it now and then. Yeah. Now, of course, this is the junction I was telling you about. So as you can see, as the road slopes down, they could have easily put a, a bridge here. Now, you can see where the junction, how the junction is. So, if you wanted to turn right, you have to go in this lane here, which I'm in now. And uh, yeah, and you can see how it is, how the junction is. Now, if I want to go straight ahead, I'm going to have to negotiate around the other cars to do this. As you can see, whoever designed this junction, I don't know. I don't know what they were, were they half asleep when they were designing this junction? I don't know. Now I got some person tailgating me back there. Great. <coughs> well, well, of course, back in after that uh, nice uh, six hour shift I did. Uh, it's been reasonable. Only quite for a Friday night, uh, usually a bit busier. Mind you, how many Fridays do I do? And this was just like one off I did. Anyway, of course, uh, continuing to, well, we're going to go along uh, Wigan Road, going back to Maxine's now for a nightcap, pizza, and a movie. Because I'm watching Jaws the Revenge. Yes, yeah, so that's the fourth Jaws film. Yeah, which is I always considered to be so bad it's good kind of job. Yeah, anyway, as I was say, as you know, we're going to take a look at the other part of this junction that we're going along. The uh, junction known locally as the Kamikaze Junction because during the daytime when it's busy, it is absolutely mental. Yeah, <coughs> yeah, so mental. So you think, uh, so if you think that. Uh, road junctions are bad near you just let me know in the comments below uh, I know that uh, I know that Swindon roads I know that the Swindon roundabout is quite uh, fun to get around because I saw it on uh, Stephen's video As you can see, it, uh, as it veers round, you've got another set of traffic. It's, it's when it's busy, everything tells back. And, uh, well, you know, we see how this junction. Oh, he's going up some speed. What the hell? <laughs> Where's the fire? Where's the fire? Gosh, what is this? He left his toaster on. Hmm, who knows? Well, of course, we're going up. Uh, uh, twist Lane now. Well, not Twist Lane, it's Furs Lane actually. Twist Lane's back that way, we'll talk about it. Anyway, this is Furs Lane. And of course, the roundabout they had, it, it looks like they, they obviously moved it over here, made it a bit smaller. <laughs> yeah, known as the sports, I believe it would be known as the Sportsman's Roundabout, because the Sportsman used to be here, Sportsman Pub. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, the council were looking for something to spend the money on. I think. <laughs> yeah, it's a miracle how big trucks get through. I think that's the new magic roundabout there we just passed. Yeah, it's a bloody miracle. I don't know if they uh, get around it. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, because those big stumps they have in front of the post office supposed to prevent any mishaps. But you know. Well, probably won't, but maybe, maybe not. Of course, that's the marsh playing fields to the right over there, which is uh, which was once owned by the Marsh family. It used to be a stately home on land grounds. We'll probably do another vlog on that sometime for walkabout town. Of course, I uh, remember that uh, we are doing a, a walkabout town vlog on Tuesday. So we're we'll probably up by Wednesday when you and when everyone will see it, uh, which will be uh, in Blackpool. Yes, we're a couple of blocks there, going up, going all the way around the tower. Well, actually going up the tower, of course. I, I love going up Blackpool Tower. I know that some of you have uh, 
I know that some YouTubers actually done it once or twice. Stephen, living in Blackpool for years, has never been up the town until the McMaster took him up there. Yeah, I wonder how uh, Stephen would feel about going up at night. Hmm. Well, yeah, that would be good. Yeah, you know, there's one thing we ought to do is take uh, Christopher Higgin, one pound burger daddy, up the tower. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> hey, that'll be a treat for him, won't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, Christopher, if you're watching this new video, yeah, you know, we're gonna have to get you up Blackpool Tower. Okay. Anyway, that's it for this video. So we'll see you next time on another one. Goodbye. Yeah.